This unit is our manually operated stacker, so it uses this handle to pump up the head here. And this is our universal drum rotator, and this can be adjusted to suit any drum from 50 litre all the way up to these 205 steels and plastics. Now because this is a manually operated unit, every time I pump the handle, the head will only go up 19 millimetres. And that's to do with the regulations of how, how much effort you're allowed to put in here. So we have to keep that effort low, so we only get 19 mm lift. Now if you had a lot of drums to lift and tip, we suggest having one of our power lift models, where you just press a button and it lifts the drum for you. So let's connect to the first drum. So we have two brakes at the back. We can release the brakes and then we manoeuvre the unit. We want the band to be around the middle of the drum. We then connect this webbing strap around the drum. We tighten that with a ratchet on this side. Then we have a rim clamp here, again, which is adjustable. Now the idea of the rim clamp, it grabs hold of the top of the drum here, stops the band moving, especially for something like this plastic drum, where it's very smooth, you'd have trouble picking that up without having the rim clamp. So next thing we want to do is lift it up. We've shortened this sequence a little bit in the video, just so we're not here pumping it for a long time. Okay, so that's the drum at the right height now. So if we wheel into this drum, we recommend not putting the brakes on at this stage so we can just adjust it when we start tipping. So then we use this gearbox here, and as we turn the gearbox, So sometimes you need to adjust it. So basically just pull back a little bit. Again, just bring it forward. There you go. It's a total in there. Then obviously we can, can return. The gearbox is self-locking, so if you let go at any stage, even when you're tipping, it'll actually just lock exactly where it is. It won't self-drive. The handle's already is also folding, so you can fold it up out of the way. And then we can drop the drum down to the floor by pulling this lever here. You can also control this on the handle. Then release your rim clamp. Release the ratchet and un unhook from here. The arms also slide, so you can actually just move the arms out a little bit. And remove the unit from the drum. Next thing we're going to pick up a small drum, a small Mauser, which means setting the head differently, and then we'll tip it into the other drum. We're now looking at the close-up of the head. So these arms can move in and out. So if I move this, I can move these in and out. And the same with this arm. This also moves in and out. Now, this band you can adjust from this position into these holes here. So if these pins are in this position for 205, 200 litre drums, this one will be 180, and that'll be 120, that'll be 100, and then down to 50. Really, you've just got to adjust the band so the gearbox pivot is in the middle part of the drum. So to adjust it is very easy. So for this drum, we want to set this in this hole because it's a smaller diameter. So push the arm in to make the gap a little bit smaller. Remove these two pins grab hold of the arm and then we just socket that in the next two pin positions there. 
So you can see these sticking out the back of the unit there. So we've moved it one whole position forward. Then we put the R pins in the back of the band. That now joins the band. You can then open up the band. And you can see now if we bring this drum in, that's a nice angle. You know, it's a nice touching the drum all the way around. And the pivot is right in the middle of the gearbox. You can see the pivot on the other side is right in the middle of the drum. And that shows you in the correct position for this. So what I'll do now, I'll come around the other side and we'll tension it up. Okay, next thing we do, take the ratchet strap off here, reach around and fasten it on the door. And we grab hold of this strap here and we pull this. So as we pull this, there's no gap in the band all the way around. And we keep this in your right hand and then we tension it. And we only tension it until the drum starts to deflect and then that's fine. Then this is the rim clamp and this goes underneath the lip of the drum. And we can adjust this again so we can change the height of this. So we take this pin out, we can set this at different heights, put it under the drum, put the pin in, and we hold this up underneath the drum, and then spin down the nut, So this supports it in the vertical, and it doesn't matter how slippy this drum is, it enables the band to cope with these egg-shaped mousers, slab-sided plastics, or the steels, traditional type of drums. Okay, we're now connected to the mouser, so let's lift and tip this one. Right, next thing, leave the brakes off, approach the drum, again leave the brakes off, that allows us to have a look at the front and see if we need to bring it forward a little bit more, and then we wind the handle. Again, folding handle, fold it out of the way. The tiller's got a neutral on it, so if you have the handle in the middle, the pumping handle, it's in neutral, it doesn't pump now. You can use this as a tiller to actually pull the unit and manoeuvre it, it makes it easier. Pull the handle to drop it down. Again, you can control this, so you can control the speed. Release the rim clamp. Release the ratchet. You can open up the arm a little bit. And pull it away. <laughs> 